Hi and welcome to Lippy Presents Real Ghost Hunting. Today we're here at Mount Misery Road. We call this Site 3. Uh, we break the location up into very many different uh, sections because it's just so big. Um, we've had a lot of crazy experiences here, uh, so we're going to have you just join us. We'll talk a little bit more about it during the investigation, and uh, you guys will just follow us along. Uh, right now, me and Connor, we jumped ahead of the whole crew uh, just to set up the camera, and now we're going to call the team to start walking up two by two. So, all right, guys, you want to start sending people up? Copy that. <clears throat> so with Mount Misery, it gets its name from the Native Americans. They used to say that this land was very uneasy. It was hard to um, grow crops and, and things like that. And the ground is very uneven terrain. So it was pretty much uh, inhospitable for them. So when they sold it to the colonials, um, they tended to have a lot of hard time with their horses and carriages and stuff like that. Now this is all uh, West Hills County Park area and uh, it's a beautiful location uh, but we also have a lot a lot of different uh, experiences here. There's tons of shadow people that you see when you're investigating. Um, we've had weird growling and things like that that have happened to us here. Uh, myself and Shannon uh, experienced something that we'll talk about maybe a little later on tonight. Um, we've had voices, we've picked up so many EVPs here, we've had radio communications and stuff like that. It's just so many different types of uh, experiences that we've had, so hopefully you guys um, enjoy the show. Thank you. I'm just going to loop this around and see if we can see anybody coming. It's a nice eerie shot. It is, it looks cool. This is some of the stuff we'll cut. <laughs> I mean, this works great. I wonder if we should. We don't really need to move it at all. This is a good credit spot. Yeah, right? Trying to get behind me? Behind you? Yeah, just follow me around. Yep. Now, Dimitri, would you call that a uh, spirit orb? No, I would call that a flashlight. Flashlight, okay. That is a flashlight <laughs> from another team member. Yeah. Sorry, I gotta get that big debunked, debunked sticker. I know, right? <laughs> like a stamp. And, uh, yeah, so some of the experiences we've had here, myself and Shannon, um, one of the, the one of the first times we did our overnights here was because we started to realize that we were having a trend in our activity. We were picking up a lot of our activity around a certain time of year. Um, we're actually in that time of year right now, which is why we're recording. So hopefully we capture some interesting things. Um, while we were here, we started off by hearing screaming coming down the pathway. It sounded like it was getting closer and closer and closer, and then eventually it just dropped off, it like back pedaled out. Um, actually at the same time I got this really creepy EVP that just said, what is this? What is sound like that creepy child voice? And then we came in and we just started picking up like smells of blood. But it wasn't like the crew was smelling it. It was picking people out individually. I was smelling it. And then Mike would smell it. And then Shannon would smell it. And then that kind of like dissipated. And then we started hearing like growling. 
But again, it was the same thing. Nobody heard it as a group. It was literally singling us out. I would hear it. Mike would hear it. Shannon would hear it. It just it was super weird. I couldn't explain it. And so when we came out here and um, we were getting like really intense feelings, we were seeing shadow people running down the street. They were actually right behind us. I remember sitting here and seeing shadow people um, with a former member of the team. And uh, then after that, we had a lot of like just intense experiences and we just felt like it was time to leave. And so we pulled back and we were walking out and um, I tend to walk backwards. And as we were leaving, Shannon uh, saw something kind of like skitter across the ground and I kind of saw it out of my eyes. She's like, did you see that? I'm like, yeah, what is that? And um, she could see it clearly. Uh, I did not really see it clearly, so then I said, stay here, I'm going to go up to it and see what it is. So I approached and I like crouched down to try and, and see what it is. And as I'm doing that, I can literally, like, for me it was blurry. I don't know if because you're sensitive you could just see it clearer than I could. It, like, took a minute for my eyes to focus and I saw what I saw. And it was a very uneasy and I felt threatening feeling, so we pulled the whole team out. Mike and I actually did a prayer of St. Michael on the way out the door, and uh, or out the gate, and uh, as we turn around to leave, we literally hear somebody laugh at us. We audibly heard it, but our, our audio recorders did not pick it up, which was super weird. But uh, me and Shannon, the policy is when you see something like that together, you don't say anything. We went back to our office, we sat on two sides of the table, very far apart, we had to have been like 15 feet away from each other, and we both drew the same thing almost. I mean, artist interpretation, I draw like a five-year-old, so uh, it is what it is. But we drew the same type of thing. We both saw what looked like this, I don't know, I describe it as like a reptile type like body, like kind of like an alligator like type body. And it had like a, more like a warthog or type yeah. of like pig face. The eyes were really sunken in and red. Uh, we had like, uh, had horns coming out, like tusks kind of a thing. And um, Shannon, at the same time, picked something up. Uh, she picked up a name, and she gave the name to Mike. Uh, I don't know what the name is to this day. I know it starts with an M. That's it. Uh, Mike looked it up in our demonology book, and sure enough, he found the name. Uh, he looked it up to see what does it look like, how, does it, how is it described, and things like that. And uh, it was in like a humanoid form, but the face was very similar to what me and Shannon had drawn and seen. So it just, it was really weird, just all those boxes ticked, and um, it's, it's lifted, yeah, it was lifted as a shapeshifter. Um, so, I don't know, uh, we haven't shied away since though, we still come back out here, we ask our questions, we're always respectful, we don't provoke or anything like that, just to see if we can maybe pick something up. But yeah, that was uh, really one of the most intense experiences I've ever had here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get everybody together. We're gonna start investigating now as everybody makes their um, solo, not solo, but duo treks up the pathway to see if we have any personal experiences. Uh, how'd it go for you guys? Get done right now. Good. You wanna walk I'm over gonna, there? I'll, I'll, you guys step back, I'll swing it around to you. Yeah. So how'd it go for you guys? How was your walk up? So we, we had the privilege of going last. Um, while we were waiting for the radio, to head up um, about five minutes after the team before us left I was just looking down the pathway and it looked like a bull like that's the best way it was on all fours and it was huge it was like in the tree line peeking out at us and uh, so I was I lit up my flashlight and as we walked past it I kept my flashlight on just to see make sure it's not an animal um, didn't see anything, so we started, we got the radio, so we started making our way down the path, and I know you... Yeah, while we were making our way down the path, all of a sudden it felt like somebody's, like, nail, like a long nail, just started slowly pressing into the small of my back, and I jumped forward just to kind of get away from it, because it felt like it was just continuously pressing into my back and then that's when right after that you had your thing. Yeah so he he jumped and so I turned around to look and then all of a sudden I felt what felt like just like a 
like a nail or a needle just go down the middle to the left shoulder blade of my back. And uh, yeah, that, that startled me. Def definitely startled me a bit. Startled me a lot. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Yeah. So. Nice start to the night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For those of you wanting to know, Brandon, why don't you give us a little uh, pre-wrap. Where are we starting? Where are we at? Give us a time so people know where and when we are. It is 2.38 a.m. Uh, we are at Mount Misery Site 3. It is Saturday, September 21st. And we are at Site 3. We're at the crossway. Do we have a name for this one? Uh, yeah, we call it the Devil's Fork. The Devil's Fork. Yeah. Because um, down this pathway is usually very active. So we, uh, we've had a lot of experiences down that way. Oh, yeah. We definitely have. All right. Until we're ready. We're going to kind of just lock this solo and go from here. Let's get a station we're going. Yep. Um, who's got uh, I got right stationary? Now I, got, I got one motion sensor down there. Okay. And another motion sensor there. Okay. I got, I got another motion sensor down there. I got the um, cell sensor down here. Okay. Where's so Michelle with the geophone? She got the bag, right? The geophone yeah. and the REM pod? the REM pod up down there. It set the geophone up down here, maybe? Um, oh, yeah, we, but I want it, like, fucking deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get it deep. Now, Connor, about your story. <laughs> a little less interesting. <laughs> the bunking action. It is interesting, though, but. Watch. There it is. Isn't that your cold? <laughs> oh. It's when we move, I get hot. Struggle. The struggle is real. Struggle is always real. So where's the geophone? Straight down there? Yeah. When it goes off, you can see it's toward the right of the path. Oh, yeah. Connor, when yeah. you're by the camera, mm -hmm. the case is underneath for the stationary equipment. Yep. Um, the swivel is loose. Yep. So feel free to turn it down the pathways and try and pick yep. up different we'll things. Them. We'll probably separate the groups a little bit. Is there way. any stationary that way where we came from? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a motion sensor? Okay. He's dropping the um, electrosmog. Okay. So electrosmog motion sensor, this we have motion sensor geophone, you have K2 cell sensor and then five. T2 cell sensor, motion sensor, and one power button. Yeah. There's a lot down there. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, I'm gonna get some fucking fun. Yeah, you can drop it like right there, maybe. Middle of the path. <coughs> that works. Everybody just remember all your equipment. Because we are spread thin. Yeah. This is what we're seeing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Alright guys, so you're gonna have a little bit of uh, some blurry quality for a little bit. Um, Connor will kind of pan around a little bit to show you some of the lights, but uh, we're gonna go lights out for a little while. Um, this way we can really feel the area. Um, it's gonna be dark unfortunately for you guys, I'm sorry, but uh, we really just need to feel the location out and see what's going on around us. Um, so we're gonna go lights out.
So as you can see, it's very dark. <laughs> so that green light that's on the left hand side is the electro smog and then the closer green light I believe is James holding the TM760. Yep. Okay. Let me start it. Let's do an EVP session here. So, how's it going tonight? My name is Mike. I've been looking for a witness. We've come here many times before during this time. And I've gotten my name called out quite a few times, amongst other things that are here. So we came here tonight to try to help you, whoever's here. So now is the time. If you need our help, you need to let us know. So one of the ways you can do that is we have many different devices set up. You can set any of them off to try to get our attention. That's one way that we know that you can hear us and communicate with us. Can you try to set off any of the devices that we have? You gotta get pretty close to them. They're not gonna hurt you or harm you in any way. We do that for us. Some of the devices will light up different colors. Some of them may make a little sound. It's not to startle you, it's just to let us know that you're here with us. I feel like a lot of times when we come here, like, the cameras and, and like, people go that way. Yeah. And we've never really explored down that way. So we have... Do you want me to start picking up the equipment or...? Um, no. I'm going to turn the lights back on, Mike. It's fine. You're gonna keep it that way? Yeah. Point it that way, that's fine. How is it looking? Good? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. It looks pretty good. You guys talked about what's down there earlier. Or <laughs> explain. What we saw? No. The equipment we ran down there. No, I didn't. Do you want to? Yeah, I'll do <laughs> Yeah, you get there. Right yep. So, down this pathway, this is what we call the main pathway. Um, we have a bunch of stuff down here. We have a EMF cell sensor that will light up red and uh, make a noise if it goes off. Then we have a little further down, K2 meter with the green light on it. A little further down, we have a motion sensor crossing the pathway. And then a little more further down, we have a REM pod set up. So um, we try to cover our ground. We don't always like to keep equipment close by. We like to spread it out far, but in the distance where we can see. Um, because if there is something out here that is here, it might not want to come super close to us. So when you have stuff spread out all around you, you have a better chance of capturing stuff. Um, one of the overnights that we did here a while ago, it was uh, me and I think it was Brandon, and uh, we went down this way. It was just me and him. Uh, there was another team down this pathway, and there was two more teams down the other pathways. And we were pretty far down, which we're going to go down there in a little bit. And it was kind of a quiet night. We were here for a little over an hour, and we were talking about it. We are like, yeah, oh, it's kind of quiet here. Like, maybe we should, if, it's, if it keeps on quiet, we'll just bounce out of here, and we'll go somewhere else. And all of a sudden, we started to hear, like, this moaning sound in the woods. And we radioed the other teams, and they're like what is that that's right by you guys and we're like no it's not it's by you guys and um it was just really weird but the way we heard it was really loud but it was in a distance so i don't, I don't know what that was um i don't know it was one time that we were another time we were here after a bunch of stuff happened we came back the week later and um we thought it was a possible demonic activity and we came back and um i was probably right around where the green light is, right where it came to, somewhere in that area. And uh, we were investigating, it was towards the end of the night, and I looked over this way, towards the woods, and I saw what looked like, the best way to describe it is like four beings, like they were probably about maybe this tall, um, a brown cloak, no facial features, just black in the face, and there was one in the front, three in the back. And like, I looked at it, 
kind of looked in my direction and the feeling that I felt was just come back here and see what happens to you. And I was just like, let's go. So, um, I hope the camera picked that up. We just saw a flash of light from behind me. Flash of light behind me? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Let them I didn't even notice. What was it, the um, run pod? Yeah. Well, maybe the camera picked it up. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I don't know. But who's over here? Just me and you now? Yeah, just me and you. So, prime example of what happens here is the activity that's here. Back up just a little bit. Tonight. What happened? Back up just a little bit. Your head's cut off. Back up. Good. Right there. Yep. Right. <laughs> so, um, what, what happens a lot of times here is the activity that's here loves to try to split us up. We have a team of eight tonight. So we had four people go down this pathway. They felt drawn there. I'm getting drawn down that way. And you now Shannon and the YouTube just walked out. We're leaving me and James back here by ourselves. So everyone's kind of split up. So a lot of times they say when that happens, you're more vulnerable with less people than you're with a group. So we'll see that. Must have been a bright light for them to go all the way over there and check it out. Did you see it enough? No, I didn't see it. Well, they just hit the motion sensor. Yeah. And then the run pod's further than that. We have stuff like, pretty far. Now, that's where I want to go, though. We were there... Um, we come here during the daytime, we map the whole area out to get an idea and a feel for the ground so, so you kind of know your bearings at nighttime. And I've walked these pathways so many times. If We broke Mount Misery up into multiple sites, site one, two, three, and four. We're in site three right now. Site three is actually connected to site two. So if you keep walking down this pathway, eventually you're gonna cross the boundary line and you're in site two. Um, it's really weird. We actually mapped it out. We used like different flagging tape and For some strange reason we're like this area and this place is really kicking with activity And you get like really bad vibes here If you keep walking on the pathway and you walk into site two, it just goes away I don't know how to explain it. I don't know why that happens, but it does and, um, It's weird like site two is a totally different feel um, You get weird and cool stuff there but, I don't know, nothing like here is different. I don't know where the hell they were doing so far. Yeah. I'm trying to keep my eye on the geophone. And I'm going to the... back up behind the camera because I can't, like, my eyes can't focus. Yeah. So I'm just trying to move the there... camera rolling so you guys can see what we're doing. Bright lights. But... There they are. I can see them. Anything? Yeah, um, we just saw like two, we saw, like, two red, eyes. red eyes. Really? Look at her. Yeah. From down the pathway. High or low? Low. Well, weird. Kind of sort of high together. before. It was kind of like good timing with the conversation I was yeah. having with him. We were talking about like emotions and stuff like that and just like anger and things. And as soon as we started talking about being angry, huh. we just like, we both like right away yeah, saw yeah. it. And then it was really weird because it was low. Like we saw it twice low. Yeah. And then Shannon was turning on her camera to take photos. And then it like jumped up high. I saw him high while she was trying to take How photos. How high? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it's so hard. 
yeah, tell no, distance know, in the dark. I, I mean, it went from down here to like up here. I saw it so. when we were down there before. Me, Connor, and Michelle, I, I, saw, I saw one high first. And then I saw two high, like high, like it was, it was high up. No, it was It was ice. high. It, it was one, it was high. No, I saw just two like red dots. Like I don't, I, I don't think they were eyes I, when I saw. Right. But I, I did see two red dots high up. Right. Right. I don't, I don't no, know. I, you saw, saw Reno, you saw yeah, eyes. they looked like eyes. They looked familiar. Yeah. We were like, we were like, I've seen that before. Like the feeling in the pit of my stomach. Yeah. How far down did you guys go? You guys like how far uh, down past the REM pod? A little bit past the REM pod. REM pad. REM pad. I, I want to get down. I want to get down. Yeah, we need to get down there. I feel like we always go down that way. We never really like go deep that way. And like I said, the last couple times I've been here, like getting drawn. It's like not even drawn. Like it would, you would stop and be like, I don't Too know intense. about. I don't know yeah. about that. You know. I think they got eaten by man bear pig. No. It's not uh, monkey puppy baby. It's baby monkey puppy puppy monkey puppy monkey baby puppy monkey baby. That is in no way an endorsement, and it's also we're not looking for cease and desist or anything. <laughs> Let's see, let's put them back here. Let's we'll see what they tell. I think maybe we should rotate out. We could only see four. Then four can go back on them. Yeah. Let me. Yeah. Let me. Let me throw stuff at me, Scott. I'm trying to move anyway. I don't know if it's really going to happen, but they don't know where they were. They won't. I'm just saying, they won't need us. They won't need us. Oh, it's because you guys went too far to the right and you were heading up towards the, 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 the dog area. It's hard they to went, figure out. They where started to back there mm -hmm. and they went to the when they went down Hanson's path. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what happened to Tom and Shannon last time. They went down Hanson's path. They went to the right. And they went to the right and they went up. They went to the left. Right. They, they went to the stop. No, we went to the left. We went to the left. And, and then we were supposed to go right. down another way and we this couldn't get down there. And path. you can go right and that leads back to, towards Hansen's path. Right, or left. Or, or if you go, well, it's kind of like a veer's left. It's not like a straight left. No, right. right. But, yeah. Pretty nice. You should. You know, you don't want to mock it. That'll see, I don't know. You know, you don't look down or you don't pile the grade again and they fall off of it. Maybe. There's the other team coming back. Up there. Yeah. It's very nice. How'd it go, guys? Dead quiet. Dead quiet? Not like when me and you were down there before? 20 minutes I did. Huh? I'll grab this stuff down here. Okay. Yeah. Um, geophone and oh,
Oh, was that on camera? <laughs> yes, it was. What'd you do? Oh. This is the, the extra real. Dead quiet? Dead quiet. Mm -hmm. You didn't miss nothing, Jay. Don't worry. Unfortunately. I think it's you. It's not me. <laughs> it has to be you. Why does it have to be me? I don't know. I'm <laughs> it is very bright, yes. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, okay, like, you take some with you. I'm just fucking going to Yeah. Uh, okay. I took the geo. I got my pouch for you too. Yeah, I got my kangaroo pouch. Right, Connor, you got that got hand. Pencil? Yep. You're good with it? Yep, it's my belly. Alright, so who you got who you got on the camera? I got it. Uh you got the motion sensor brand? Yeah. How many motion sensors do you have currently? I got one. Okay. You got the one from down there. Brandon, you're covered in dirt. Yeah, on your butt. It moves a little bit. How high was it going? You went to 0.14. 0.14? Yeah, it's just like a 0.13. That is, could be going. Um, okay, keep an eye on it. As long as it doesn't go to 0.5, it'll, it'll move around a little bit. Mm -hmm. comes the rest of the crew. They're finding a new trail. How was the other trail? Uh, it kind of just comes and just ends. We're going straight or we taking it off? Finder. Stepping on all these rocks and sand is great for the dog animal. Oh yeah. It's good for my ankles too. Of course. I was saying before, I need to start tape my ankles up like a UFC fighter or something like that before these. Or all this mess up train that's like constantly twisting my. And then someone's like, hey. <laughs> Do you mind if we come up and visit you?
We don't mean you any harm. We're not looking to bother you. We're just uh, swinging by to say hi. Is that okay? I'm telling you, the moths are really going to love
They'll be out here. Hello? Acorn. Bat. Bat squatch. Let it go, Bat squatch, everyone's on their own. I'll speak them into existence. Just and I look at that thing and I'm like toast. Yep. I'm blind again. He does YouTube pit stuff. <laughs> do you have the other motion sensor? Yes, I do. Okay. I don't know if they want them. I don't know if they want them. Set something behind us. Grab my arm. In the thing is bat squatch. You want the second one down there too? I'm just going to set it up over here. Sensor behind us too. That works. Okay. You want another one? I have the third. Uh, I think we're okay. okay.
kill the um fights. Kill those fights. Hey, how's it going tonight? My name's Dimitri. I'm here with Lippy. Um, we don't mean you any harm. We're just looking to speak with you right now. Uh, now that you know who we are, can you tell me your name, please? come here many times, you may be familiar with some of us by now, um, and we try and speak with you. I know a lot of people don't come out here to communicate with you or talk to you in any way. So if you are here, this is your chance. Is there something you'd like to say? Is that you throwing stuff at us? Can you do that again? Are you a kid or a child just trying to play games with us? in any danger being here right now? <clears throat> is that Brandon? Yes. Yeah, so. Or Did James. Did you your throat? Oh, that was James. Oh. I'll note it in my radio. Well, we're only going to be here for a short time longer, so if there is something you want to say, now's your chance. Are you alone in here? I was alone. I was alone. You know who never owned it? Fucking Rob. He did like the. Yeah, he did like the halfway up. Alright. Yeah, that's what I was going to Is there a person next to me? 
I do. You do? Yeah, I also just saw a shadow man <laughs> directly next to me. <laughs> I thought uh, Julie was standing next to me, and then I was about to ask you why you weren't walking. And then you disappeared. Okay. Are we going to get some lippy horses? We should get a bunch of mini horses. Why? Yeah, go off the park and then you Thank you. 
already almost back. Huh? So we're already almost back to the fire hydrant. The fire hydrant, not the end. Oh yeah, but this is where we'll probably wrap the camera. I can stop carrying it like this. There? Shouldn't be. Right there? There's a light right there. What is that? Is that eyeball? That's a raccoon. Hi, baby. Right there. See, that is not what me and Sean are Loud. Like. Should I go pet it? Loud. I don't see it at all. You can see the eyes. Come right by me, Shen. Yeah, I don't see his eyes anymore, but I saw him. Yeah, come over, come over here. You can see his eyeballs. Do we want a close up? Nope. <laughs> it's like, see ya! <laughs> and the fucking yeah. thing took off. <laughs> Alright, now let's get this wrap going. <laughs> we're, gonna get the, uh, we're gonna wrap up the episode now. So, um, Alright, so I'm gonna just wrap it up. And then you're gonna kill the lights, but you'll record until we do the post wrap, okay? Okay. okay. So I won't stop the recording until we get to the gate? Yeah, until we call until we the investigation. Cool, okay. All right guys, so that's it here at Mount Misery Site 3. Really hope you guys enjoyed the investigation. Uh, it seems like we had some personal experiences here. Um, we're going to uh, wrap up now and head out. And um, yeah, check out the reveal show when that comes out in 2020. And we'll go over any analysis that we captured playing the EVPs for you. Uh, if we capture any video, cut it, and play it for you guys. So thank you guys very much for joining us on this latest edition and uh, end of season one here at Real Ghost Hunters. And until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for joining us on this latest edition of Lippy Presents Real Ghost Hunting. It's coming in 2020. Watch Real Ghost Hunting, the reveal show, to find out anything that we captured on this investigation from tonight's episode. If you would like, you can follow us further by liking, sharing, and subscribing our videos and clicking the little notification bell to know all of our content is being uploaded to YouTube. So thank you guys very much for joining us on Real Ghost Hunting. And until next time, take care.